Hello and welcome to this special Halloween edition of Seahawk Central News. I'm Ron Burgundy filling in for Patrick Hogan. And I'm Veronica Corningstone filling in for Sydney Bouchot. And this is what's happening in your world this week. UNC Wilmington celebrates its 70 years with Cake on the Commons. Join one of our own reporters who takes you to the center of the celebration. Also, a journalism school in Montana denied a UNCW professor from lecturing at one of their annual events. There is more on that story to come, so sit down and stay tuned. Because Seahawk Central News starts right now. We're on air. UNCW hosted their 19th annual Halloween Carnival on October 25th in Trask Coliseum. The carnival allows children 12 and under from the surrounding area to have a night of safe and fun trick-or-treating. Students from numerous organizations here at UNCW volunteered dressing in costumes as they passed out candy to the kids. The event also included raffles, cake walks, and face painting for all. The carnival allows the students a chance to give back to their community. UNC Wilmington celebrates seven decades since they first opened their doors in 1947. SCN reporter Sarah Van Horn is in the field with former, present, and future Seahawks to help celebrate this special event. Sarah? Thanks, guys. To help bring in UNCW's 70th anniversary, faculty, staff, alumni, and current students are celebrating with Cake on the Commons. UNCW first opened its doors on September 4, 1947, welcoming 238 students to enhance their lives through advanced education. Seven decades later, UNCW has evolved into a nationally recognized institution serving more than 16,000 students from across the United States and around the world. So cheers to 70 years and many more. I'm Sarah Van Horn with Seahawk Central News. Back to you in studio. Thanks, Sarah. The University of Montana School of Journalism has banned UNCW criminology professor Mike Adams from speaking at the school's annual Cole Lecture. Journal the journalism dean stated that Adams would not be speaking in fear that his extreme views would offend students. Adams is famous for his victory in a 2014 First Amendment case against UNCW in which he claimed the university unfairly denied him a promotion due to his conservative, political, and religious views. Adams took to Twitter to tweet, I have been banned from speaking at the University of Montana because I do not share their values of being tolerant and welcoming. A dean said that. According to university policy, Adams is permitted to reserve space and hold a non-sponsored lecture on campus in the future. The 11th annual Rock for a Cure benefit happened on October 13th and was a large success. For the 2017 year, Rock for a Cure raised $5,000. Rock for a Cure is a breast cancer benefit created in October 2007 by the UNCW Communication Study Society student organization. The goal of the event is to raise awareness for breast cancer as well as raise money for the New Hanover Regional Medical Center Pink Ribbon Project. Since the event has started, Rock for a Cure has raised over $50,000 to help support women undergoing cancer treatment. This year's event featured different UNCW alumna like Jesse Sykes, who opened for the faculty rock band, The Schoolboys. In other UNCW news, students were left disappointed and outraged when the Waka Flocka Flame Show on campus was canceled during the show. Reportedly, students were not taking their seats and the decision to cancel the show was made. Refunds have still not been offered and the students who had, their, who had taken their seats seemed to be out of luck. Rapper Flocka was later seen Wednesday night at the bar Might As Well located about a mile off campus. Well, that's it from us this week, from all of us here at Seahawk Central News. Stay classy, Seahawks. And thanks for stopping by. I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Veronica Corningstone. Go yourself, Seahawks. <laughs>